This video is brought to you by McCall's Quilting and Handy Quilter. Simple long arm quilting for great results. This quilt has a vertical design, so it seems like a good idea to do vertical quilting in it. Whenever you're choosing quilting um, design for a quilt, you can either repeat the lines that are in there or decide to contrast them. And because I'm going to be using a long arm machine, it seems like a good idea to do long vertical lines on this quilt because I can stitch from one edge of the quilt to the other and not have lots of starts and stops. In the piece areas, I can quilt anything. Nothing's really going to show very much, so I can quilt anything I want to. A great way to do some practicing that won't really show, but when you're sitting under the quilt and looking up close, it'll be really pretty. I'm using the Handy Quiller Avante, which is a great long arm machine, and this is why I chose to quilt the way that I, that I did. I'm doing long vertical lines, and I'm going kind of wiggly so that I don't have to be exact about um, the spacing or anything else. It's great beginner background. Um, I've quilted these long lines, and if I had planned well, <laughs> I could have come in here and quilted this part at the same time, but I missed it, so I'll show you how you can go back and fill in this space, which shows you how you would do it if you caught it continuously with the longer lines. So I'm just, just quilting sort of organic curved lines, and it's easier to do organic lines than the straight ones simply because you don't have to be all that careful about what you do. And then I'm kind of stitching along the edge of the blue sashing, or the blue part of the uh, border, the blue part of the block, and coming back up here, and I'm gonna just sneak a couple of straight stitches along here. And you see, when you go curvy like this, your spacing doesn't have to be exact, even when you come back and do the next line. So some of the lines kind of almost parallel each other and others go in opposite directions. It'll still read as vertical when the quilt's all done. But it's simple quilting and pretty effective. And I think I can do just one more line along here. And if I had done this continuously with, with the long verticals, I would just go back across this area to get back to the long vertical and continue. And I'm quilting the pieced little areas now, and you can quilt anything you want to in here. I think of it as doodle quilting. You can do spirals and then change your mind and make those spirals into flowers. The idea is to fill in the whole space and to get as close to the edges as you can. Um, great way to get to another area is to just echo something you've already quilted. Flowers are wonderful. You can add as many rows of petals as you want to and then shoot out somewhere else. Do another spiral. Go back and forth like boomerangs if you'd like to or bananas. I'm back by the flower again. I'll outline it again. I'm just making this up as I go. Loops are nice and easy. It's a great way to try out different quilting that you've maybe seen pictures of or read about. None of this is gonna show a lot because the piecing is so busy, but you'll get the opportunity to do some practice, which is the hugest, most important part of being able to quilt well, is just practice. So, another spiral. Some more loops. I've used a variegated thread just because I think it's pretty. It shows in some places and disappears in others, which I think also, it's kind of nice when you're beginning to quilt and you're going across a lot of colors because people can't follow the continuous design. If it's a little bit rough looking, you can still get away with it. Here's a corner 
want to be sure I fill in the corner pretty well. Uh, another flower. How about some more petals? Only got half a petal there. Come back and echo. I'm going to be sure I get back up to this corner so that the quilting is complete in this whole block. Some more loops. Lead myself right to the corner where I'm done. So here's where I started with a spiral. And then I did some petals and echoed the petals. You can echo as many times as you want to. Um, you're just filling in with doodles. Here's some loops. And here's some areas where I needed to fill in another spiral. And then I came back and forth kind of like a seagull, like draw a seagull as a little kid. So those are how you do some of those shapes. So this has been a demo of simple long arm machine quilting for great results. This video is brought to you by McCall's Quilting and Handy Quilter.